New tools from Milwaukee. Rigi gets a powerful new battery. Makita adds seven new tools to XGT. We've got mini bikes, table saws, super sketchy batteries, and Flex joins us live to take us to grinding school. Plus another platinum tool deal from Ohio Power Tool. This is the Tool Show. Welcome back, Tool fans. I'm Sarah, that's Rob, and Ryobi has a new Gotti Gotti. This is a new Ryobi 40 volt HP brushless 18 inch chainsaw. This time they're aiming at 40 cc gas chainsaws, but you know, without all of the gas fumes and maintenance. The new Ryobi comes with an 18 inch bar and can make up to 90 cuts per charge using a 40 volt six amp hour battery. It also has an automatic oiler, onboard tool storage, mechanical chain brake, and metal bucking spikes. You can get one yourself in April for 279 bare or 379 in a six amp hour kit. Rigid continues to insist it's still alive. This time by launching the same bleeding edge battery tech coming from its brothers, Ryobi and Milwaukee. The new rigid four amp hour max output EXP battery features new 21700 tabless cells, which they claim deliver three times more power and maximum runtime, all in a compact size. It's laser welded cell straps and upgraded heat sinks keeps it running cooler and lives longer no matter how demanding the job. It even appears to have advanced intelligent electronics that communicates directly with the battery cells to optimize performance. When used in a rigid 18 volt seven and a quarter inch rear handle circular saw, they say it cuts two times faster through a triple stack of OSB than with their standard four amp hour battery. That's pretty significant. On the recip saw, it cuts 70% faster. Essentially, the new tablet cell rigid battery promises to make all your rigid tools better. You'll be able to try one for yourself in September of this year, but no word yet on pricing. Well, would you look at that? I'll be honest, none of us around here saw this coming, not even from Milwaukee, but there it is. That is the all new Milwaukee M18 compact one ton chain hoist with one key. It's the result of a partnership with Columbus McKinnon, a company known worldwide for their hoist, crane components, rigging tools, and more. Together, they created a new M18 powered hoist that lifts up to one metric ton or 2,204 pounds. For reference, that's like a dozen stump tons. The more you know. The whole thing weighs in at just 46 pounds, making it easy for just one user to carry. It has a wireless remote with a 60 foot range and its variable speed lift can allow as little as a quarter inch of chain movement for precision placement. And thanks to that one key integration, users can access interval tracking and record storage through the one key app. And my personal favorite highlight, it's the custom pack out that it comes in. Thank you, Milwaukee. First the track saw and now the hoist. Come on, Big Red, just start putting all of your new tools and pack outs. We will pay the extra money. You know you wanna. The new M18 compact one ton chain hoist with one key will be available in July for $39.99 in a kit that includes the remote, the custom rolling pack out, two 12 amp hour batteries and a rapid charger. Seriously, every tool should come in a pack out. Like it just should be standard. Next up, Makita added seven new tools to his XGT line this week, we've got all seven for you right here. First up is the Makita GVU01SM 40 volt max XGT 15 inch dethatcher scarifier that promises to revitalize turf, allowing water, sunlight, and nutrients to reach the roots of your lawn. It runs at 3200 RPM with a max working depth of 15 inches and a bag that can hold 1.4 bushels. You can pick one up today for $12.99 in a five amp hour kit. Next up, the GVJ01 40 volt max XGT barrel grip jigsaw, blessed, blessed be. be, and its brother, the GVJ02 two 40 volt max XGT D handle jigsaw. Notice the barrel grip is number one, the D handle is number two, just saying. Makita knows what's up. Both claim up to 20% faster cutting speeds and cut up to 180 feet per charge on just a 2.5 amp hour battery. They both have brushless motors pushing up to 3,500 SPM. They have three orbital settings and a straight cutting setting as well. They have constant speed control that adjusts the power when the going gets tough. The six speed dial ranges from 800 to 3,500 SPM and their new wider bases help with stability. Both versions are available today with barrel grip bringing up at 349 and the clearly inferior D handle for 10 bucks less. But what do you expect? Does everyone know that you're just biased towards barrel grips at this point? I would hope so. Okay. Nikita wasn't done yet. They also announced the GC V08 40 volt max XGT six quart HEPA filter backpack dry vacuum for $15.99. Next up is the GTW01 40 volt max XGT shear wrench aimed at steel erectors with a 593 foot pounds of torque and drives up to 250 M11 tightened torque control bolts per four amp hour charge. 
that'll set you back $29.99. It's probably going to be a little bit. <laughs> and finally, a pair of OPE, including the new GRU 06 40 Volt Max XGT brush cutter with a 10 inch steel four tooth blade for cutting grasses, shrubs, and underwood. The other is the GRU 07 18 inch high torque string trimmer, matching the power of a 35cc gas version. It features dual rotation, 18 inch cutting swath, lower noise, faster throttle, and more power. No word yet on pricing. Speaking of OPE, Echo announced eight new additions to their X series of 56 volt outdoor power equipment. First up is the DHC 2200 22 inch double sided hedge trimmer with a five position 180 degree rotating rear handle for 459 bare or 549 with a 2.5 amp hour kit. Next is the DHC 2800 28 inch double sided hedge trimmer with you guessed it a 28 inch blade and the same rotating rear handle for 479 bare or 569 and a two and a half amp hour kit. The DHCS 2800 is a 28 inch single sided hedge trimmer with an integrated debris sweeper for 479 barrel or 569 in a 2.5 amp hour kit. The DHCS 3400 34 inch single sided hedge trimmer for 499 barrel or 589 in a 2.5 amp hour kit. And moving on to chainsaws, that is the DCS 2500 TN 12 inch battery power top handle chainsaw. It has a nano style chain for more efficient cutting and less vibration, 569 barrel or 659 in a kit. If you need your chainsaw further from you, the DPP T2600HX series telescoping shaft power pruner has a brushless motor up to 16 foot reach or 20 foot with a four foot extension because math, it's 679 bare and 799 in a kit. They also announced a new power head, the DPAS2600, which is compatible with 16 different attachments, has three speed settings and increased torque for better cutting performance, 499 bare or 619 with a five amp hour kit. And finally, Finally, the DPE 2600 commercial grade stick edger that claims to run for up to 86 minutes with a 5 amp hour battery. It has an aluminum debris shield with cutaway face, 479 bare and 599 in a 5 amp hour kit. This week, Flex launched a set of new bonded abrasives and they're unlike anything we've seen before. But there's a reason for that. Until now, two of these products have innovations that have never been seen yet here in the States. And to help us demonstrate what makes these discs so unique, we're joined live by Flex product specialist, Sam. Sam, thanks so much for joining us, buddy. Hey, Rob, thanks for having me. Hey, Sarah. Hi, Sam. Okay, so let's talk about this new line. I wanna start with this kind of crazy looking thing right here. This is called the Flex Sightmax. Now, I've never seen a flap disc designed like this one. So how exactly does this design change separate from other discs? Yeah, as you can tell, this is unlike any flap disc you've seen before. What these segments allow is they give you a line of sight when the grinder's spinning straight through to your work surface. On typical uh, grind, angle grinders, you have to grind, pull it back, and then look to make sure that you haven't over braided or over stripped your material. There's also added benefits on this guy, like the, the slots allow for cooling, both on the material, the disc, and your tool itself. We all know that heat is the bane of your projects, so we wanna eliminate that and reduce it as much as possible, and we've done that. The blades are also have a thinner kerf, which is going to reduce the load on the battery, along with the segments, um, allowing you to work more efficient without having to get the torch back out. Okay, so these gaps let you see what you're grinding when you're grinding. Can you like demo for us? Absolutely. First, we didn't want to leave anybody out though. We did develop a line of 360 degree uh, full flap disc so that uh, those of us that don't want to step up to the new innovation are more than welcome uh, with that to use our high quality abrasive line. So this is how you would traditionally use a flap disc. So we've uh, accentuated our bead here a little bit on this angle iron, so you can see. Now I'm exaggerating a bit, but that's obviously the, the process of checking and ensuring that you're not over abrading or gouging. That's something that we luckily don't have to worry about with the Sightmax flat disc. And I'll show you here. As you can see, I was able to see exactly what I was stripping. And then there at the end, that zirconia grit allowed for really aggressive material removal. So it's a great finishing disc or a great stripping disc wherever you're at in your project. That's cool. Now with these segments leaving gaps in the disc, is it gonna get caught up on things? It's funny you ask that, Rob. We get that question from time to time. These grinders are spinning very fast, between 3,500 and 10,000 RPMs. 
you're not going to get um, anything caught in between there. And to show you, I'm going to take this duplex nail and grind it down to a nub. This is the most treacherous situation I could imagine putting a segmented flap disc in. Okay, being able to see through the disc is an obvious advantage, but naturally, I'm assuming that that dramatically cuts down on its lifespan. That's a natural assumption, but like I said earlier, the combination of the uh, thin kerf, the cooling slots, and a litany of other proprietary factors, the disc itself will uh, reduce the amount of wear and tear because it's able to cool itself. All right, let's move on to this super thin guy. This thing is so light, so incredibly thin, it's called the Flex Razor Slice. Tell me about this thing. Then it is, 24,000 seven inch thick. A standard top of the line high performance cutting wheel is around 45,000 seven inch thick. And uh, we just wanted to go out there and beat it. So this is the thinnest cutting disc on the world at these dimensions of four and a half and five inch. And it reduces the amount of material surface that is uh, coming into contact with whatever you're cutting. This is gonna increase your cutting speed, reduce the amount of sparks, and give you an overall cleaner cut. So this is gonna cut faster. Not only will it cut faster, it'll cut cleaner, and it's sandwiched between two layers of fiberglass cloth that'll keep the, the disc together um, in more treacherous scenarios. So first, what we're gonna show is our competitor's disc here on the left. It is a four and a half inch Type 27 metal cutting uh, high performance cutoff disc. We're gonna be using them on the same tools with the same batteries. We're gonna be cutting on this epoxy coated rebar, and I'm gonna start with the competition. So that got the job done, but here at Flex, we like to get the job done just a little bit faster. So we're going to try out the Flex Razor Slice Flap Disc on this rebar now. As you can see, significantly less sparks, significantly faster cut, and overall a dramatically more enjoyable grinding experience. Nobody likes grinding, but we're here to make it as painless as possible. All right, last of all, we've got this little guy, the Flex Cut Grind Disc, which I'm assuming you can use for both cutting and grinding. Very astute observation there, Rob. Yes, our cut grind combo disc allows you to both cut and grind. Um, something troublesome that we've seen in the field is people having to use two different tools to do one job of cutting fasteners and then deburring them. We wanted to eliminate that, uh, that issue for a lot of our end users. The cut grind disc does that. A couple other companies have these out there, but we wanted to you know, come into this field and this line with our high level um, bonded abrasives and give you that same level of uh, expertise in uh, the cut grind combo space. Love it, Sam. Got anything else to show us before we let you go? Yeah, absolutely. Like I said earlier, we're not leaving anybody behind. Everybody gets our top end bonded abrasives. If you are a type one disc user, we have a 0.04 uh, .04 inch thick cutoff disc, type one, a little more traditional, but still very thin. And then we have our two grinding discs, our traditional grinding disc and our hub arbor grinding disc. The grits for the flap disc, the sight max come in 40, 60, and 80, and both four and a half and five inch. And again, these are zirconia grit. And then for the traditional, they come in four and a half inch and 40 and 60 zirconia grit. All of our products are also iron and sulfur free. This is gonna reduce the amount of oxidization or oxidizable particles um, that are gonna to transfer to the material, which is gonna cut down on the overall rust that you're gonna experience when using our bonded abrasives. Okay, what about availability for all these new discs? Yeah, so the discs are gonna be available this March, both online and at your local Flex retailer. All right, Sam, I really appreciate you giving us so much of your time. Yeah, thanks for having me. This week, there were a ton of great tool videos that we think that you should see this weekend, starting over at Project Farm, where Todd is testing battery-powered screwdrivers. He chose options from 17 different brands like DeWalt, Skill, Hercules, Milwaukee, High Spec, and more. And as you'd expect from a Todd test, the price range is just as vast as the brand selection, but you might be surprised who came out on top. Go check it out. I hate Tim Johnson! Rob! All right, I obviously don't hate the guy. We actually love him around here. But today, my jealousy knows no bounds, as Tim appears to be the first guy to get his hands on the highly anticipated Ego Mini Bike. Okay, ours is literally getting delivered today.
Yeah, not soon enough. And Tim will show you why. He admitted that he's a very tall guy and he's north of the 220 pound weight limit, but it's high torque still yeets him through the woods and this guy's riding wheelies. As soon as we're done shooting today, I'm sitting on the porch till ours gets here. Where is your helmet, Tim? <laughs> My tablet HPT has too many drills. <gasps> I know. Well, Taylor at Tinker with Tools is trying to make sense of their enormous lineup and takes all the guesswork out of it for you. You're welcome. You didn't do any of the work. No, but I showed them who did do all of the work, so you're welcome. Okay, weirdo. Speaking of weirdos, our favorite Brits are testing tools again, and this time they got the all-new Ego pressure washer and immediately drug it all over their property to test it out on everything from pots, overgrown drives, ATVs, and even that sick-looking Defender. Speaking of Ego stuff that I want. Right, but the pressure washer's still coming, and it looks like it'll be worth the wait. Yeah, I wouldn't mind that Defender either. Summary Builds has reviewed several job site saws this year, and this week he gave the Skill 1340 a try, and he thinks that this just might be the best one he's ever tested. Torque test channel went slightly off the rails again this week, this time testing the same Milwaukee impacts with, as they put it, increasingly sketchy batteries to see just how far they can push them with power, science, and a complete disregard for basic safety. Smart. Tools and Stuff gave the Milwaukee M12 barrel grip jigsaw a try, blessed, blessed be, be, and thinks that this might be Milwaukee's best yet. And finally, Sam over on Project Pine Hills picked up a beautiful new set from Klein of impact flip sockets from their Connect M system. The double-ended sockets means you get 20 impact rated sockets, but take up the space of only 10. The adapters give you a surprising number of different ways to use these sockets. For the full picture, head over to Project Pine Farms. Who wants a platinum tool deal? Every week we team up with the Pro Tool team over at OhioPowerTool.com to give you easily the best power tool deal online, and this week is no different. You can get $50 off a $100 purchase of any in-stock DeWalt tools or accessories. But be fast because this code will only work for the first 25 people to use it. The code you need is TS72639. Good luck. I want to thank Ego Skill Ohio Power Tool and Tested HQ for continuing to support our show and our amazing community of tool fans. If you can, do something kind for someone else this weekend, and Sarah and I will see you next week.